Uh, hello everybody, it's Will from Jaw Films. I'm usually working on machinimas, but today I'm doing some gaming. So this here is Prison Architect. Uh, it's an indie game created by Introversion Software, makers of Uplink and Darwinia, if you're familiar with any of those games. Now this is one prison I've been working on, and I thought I'd show you guys just how complicated the prisons can get. So, take a look at this. This is some of the cell blocks. It gets really complicated, but of course, in in the sense of uh, dual films, I'm starting off a brand new, uh, brand new prison. So let's create us a new prison. Let's turn off all this lot. Got a large map to play on. I want plenty of room. Let me just do some options. Is there any options? I don't think so. All right, bear with a second. Just need to. I'm basically just turning it down so it's not so loud. Otherwise, I'll start talking louder. Okay, so. Here's the prison. Oh, what's this? Okay. So this is the people arriving. Are they? Are they workmen? Yeah, they're workmen. So I decided to go large. We're going to create amazing, big, super maximum security prison. So that's deliveries. Okay. Well, if I know if I know this game correctly, I'm going to need to build a really big building for all my admin. No, all my services, which are going to be things like cooking, um, you know, that sort of thing, C cooking, canteen, the offices of the main main workers and stuff. So let's go to grants. This is basically where you get paid, and you get paid a bit extra if you complete the, the tasks, so I'm just going to grab all the grants here, and they, they kind of add to, like, quests on the left here, so I'm, I'm currently building a foundation, which you then need to put a door on, which then becomes, like, a, uh, a big building you can kind of divvy up later. Let's just speed this up a little bit so you can uh, see the progress is quite slow until both trucks, both of these trucks arrive, which have like food in them and everything, and uh, concrete and stuff. These are all supply trucks. These don't really come later on. Later on, these just come empty to pick up uh, the garbage which appears here after a while. So here we go. Look at them all installing. They get they get on pretty quickly. Now, up at the top right, you'll notice there's a there's a clock, and underneath it will tell you what the prisoners are meant to be doing. No, I haven't really set that up just yet, so I need to do that. You got some, I've only got wardens. Uh, I've only got workmen. I'm going to need a warden to set up that lot. There we go. I need someone to unload the supply truck, though. They're a bit busy at the moment. That's not a problem. So, okay, let's also get them working on large cell block. So, three, four, five. I don't make them five... Uh, five wide this way so that I can fit um, a cell and like a walkway that's too wide. So here we go. They're, they're, they're pretty much building in the foundations of this now, it's no problem. Another supply truck arrived. Okay. So here are my uh, things. I need to build a holding cell, a shower, a yard, kitchen, canteen, two guards and two chefs. Now, I've turned it off continuous intake. You might have seen me untick some boxes at the beginning. Uh, those were fog of war, which means that I can't see the prison unless guards or CCTV cameras there. Now I think I'm I'm pretty noobish at this, so I thought I'd turn it off. Uh, and also continuous intake, which means every day I get eight prisoners, whether I can accom like accompany them, whether I can uh, what's the word? Whether I can have them or not, or like yeah I've got room for them or anything. Um, and if I haven't got room then I just have to live with it. So I turn that off because I'm I'm a noob like that. And I don't think I would handle that very well. Okay, so that's all the supply trucks arrived. Okay, I, I kind of need to get the utilities set up because, as in every p prison, I'd imagine, not really familiar with many, um, you're going to need water pumps and a generator and stuff like that, so sticking that sort of thing down. That thing there's a capacitor, by the way, which is a, uh, that increases the capacity of the, um, of the actual power station, because you know, after a while you need a lot of power. So let's get the uh, door fitted to this place. Um, we're going to need two rather large doors because this is going to be such a big facility. It really is. It's going to be doing so much. Uh, up here, I'm just going to need the one large jail door here. Yeah, the rest will be cells. So you'll probably see when they install this door, the whole. I almost used my hand to make a hand gesture to show like where it was going, but that doesn't work. Let me just lower my monitor a little bit. Okay. So 
across. Oh, well, he's done it there. Yeah, it's just swiped across and turned into an actual room. So you've got torches in there because it's so dark. There you go. That's my power set up. So now I actually have to cable up everything because all these lights have no power. As you'd imagine, they wouldn't, you know. There we go. So I'm just get, using all this cable up. It costs quite a bit putting in all this cable, but you have to do it. You've really got no choice. And I have a lot of money from all these grants I've been having. Now, I know most of you probably, when you first see this, think, oh, you know, it's prison architect. It's, it looks pretty low tech. But I'm, I'm a big guy for uh, strategic games that don't necessarily have very good graphics. So I'm very big on it. And uh, that's, that's just exactly what this is. Let me just plumb in something too, because I know that we're going to need lots of uh, larger water pipes going up into here, so I might as well put them now. Oh, there we go, we've got some of the lights functional. Um, might as well get some of the brick walls in for the facilities. Get brick wall. Okay, we'll make this the kitchen just here. Um, we'll make this the canteen. These are pretty like randomly ass assorted because that's just the way I do it. I'm not. I'm not very. Uh, I'm not very assorted unless it comes to symmetrical stuff because most of the time I'm very very careful about that. Oh, well, here we go. Here's all the supply trucks arrive with all the kit for the cables because as you can see, there's a lot of cables. Look at all the deliveries there. It's just lights and stuff and cables. So they're getting on with all the construction of this prison. Now, obviously, as you can imagine, the first time I tried this. I failed epically because that's 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 how Dior Films does it. But um, uh, I thought I, I thought I'd try it out before before I um played it because otherwise it would just be painful to watch. Um, there we go. Hold on a second. How long is this? Seven meters, that's including the base. Let's put six meters there. Six meters there. I'm just trying to construct everything to be. Correct, because I, I really liked in this, especially in this game, to just get everything right first time. Otherwise, it can be such a bugger to redo. Because as you can imagine, you do the cell blocks wrong, getting in there to like do all, change all the electrical cables is usually bad when you've got prisoners in there and sort of stuff. So you really got to get this right first time. Utilities are probably the biggest thing. Um, there we go. Still a lot of utility wires to, to put in. I haven't really got enough workers to be doing this lot, so let's just hire two more. Because it's not like any of them are la 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 lazing around. Because they, they tend to do that later on in the game. They tend to just stand around a bit, but I'm not letting that happen. Um, some of these doors, obviously, don't really need to be high security. So this is just going to be the door for the, for the warden. Um, to get another... Well, you see, you need several offices. That's, that's just how it works. Um... So that the warden's one one of the most like important people in the whole game. Uh, but when you start it off, it, re it really is like you can't really start the game without one. So it's kind of what I'm working on right now, getting the warden's office walls in. So this will be an office. You kind of designate rooms. You don't just tell yourself what they are. You kind of have to actually um, mark it down as an office. So there we go. So I need an office desk, a chair, a filing cabinet for this to be an official office. Ah, uh, there's a fine cabinet. Desk. And a chair. There we go. Perfect. So they'll all go and fit them in. Look at all these supply trucks backing up. We're getting this all done in one day. Oh, that's my plan to get it ready to accept prisoners within one day. Let's get materials. Let's get a brick wall to be fitted. Uh, all the way along here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this, this is uh, Prison Architect, you can find a link um, in the description, and of course you can search it up on Google if you're not a lazy ass like me. Um, hope you really enjoyed it, it's a really good game, $30, uh, even more if you want to put your name as a prisoner, uh, go check it out, enjoy your day.